The chairman of the US Federal Reserve says interest rates will need to remain higher for longer in America as the country deals with persistent inflation. Joining me now is our business reporter, Edward Boyd. Ed, great to see you. These comments have dashed hope of a June interest rate cut. That was the big hope, and that's been around now for the past few months. The ex expectation from economists in the market was that the US Federal Reserve was on track to start cutting interest rates in June. But we've had a couple of inflation reports now, the most recent one for the month of March in America, where inflation was at 3.5%. And that's simply too high for the US Fed to start considering cutting rates as early as June. So there were some comments that Jerome Powell, the chairman of the US Federal Reserve, made in the early hours of this morning, basically dashing those hopes. Just listen to what he had to say. So we've said at the FOMC that we'll need greater confidence that inflation is moving sustainably toward 2% before it would be appropriate to ease policy. You know, we took that cautious approach and uh, sought that greater confidence so as not to overreact to the string of low inflation readings that we had in the second half of last year. Uh, the recent data uh, have clearly not given us greater confidence and instead indicate that it's likely to take longer than expected to achieve that confidence. Key there is confidence. I think he said it about five or six times. Um, they're not confident enough yet to cut interest rates. So rates in the States are going to stay at 5.5%, potentially lower until maybe November, uh, which is a fair way off uh, for a lot of people that are struggling with their loans. Yep. I am keeping a close eye on it, Ed. Thank you. <laughs> uh, the outlook for Australia hinges on next week's inflation numbers, as you say. So what are our numbers going to do? Well, our numbers haven't been great either. Uh, we've had we've seen two inflation readings this year. We're, we're currently in February we're at 3.4 percent at an annualised rate for inflation, which is a little bit below the United States. So next week we're going to get the month of March, and then we're going to get the quarterly CPI for March, which is uh, the more important figure that measures all aspects of the CPI basket. The monthly inflation numbers only look at about 60 percent of the things that go up and down in price. So once we get those figures next week on Wednesday, uh, that give the Reserve Bank more clarity around where they see rates going in Australia. Because right now there's still quite a few economists in Australia that think we're going to see rates being cut in September. So a little bit earlier now than where we could potentially see rates go down in the US. But it all hinges on next week's CPI number. And if it comes in um, at a reasonable level, sort of I'd say around 3% or a little bit lower, then I think we're on track. But if not, if it stays sticky, stays around a little bit too high, then we'll see rates, unfortunately, not be coming down until later this year. OK, Ed, thanks. Hopefully you have a better update from me soon. <laughs> thanks, <laughs> we'll, see Laura. You, we'll see you soon.